think we nailed it, folks. Alright, forgive me, the inside looks all charcoal gray because it's just filthy. It's just, it's just dirty, okay? Past that, I think we nailed it. I gotta clean this up. Here, in a little bed liner. Not a big deal. There we go. By the way, painting tubes sucks. Yeah, I meant to do that. I did that on both sides. Just a little whoopy. I don't know why. I just had to. Blue is still soft. It's setting up. Owner's on his way. Um. <laughs> I got hole saws for the gauges and a couple other things. I don't have a manual. The owner happens to be, you know, heating and cooling. I think he probably has a hole saw and or a manual. So uh, I'm going to see if I can get that from him. Let's see how that goes. <laughs> Tough week at the office, folks. Tough week at the office. Jeremy's got the last two pieces, and he's going to paint those up. Um, this really is part four of sand rail. You know, it's wrapped up. We're leaving. But we're going to wander around the shop and look at some stuff. Uh, my associate colleague and partner, Jeremy, he doesn't get a lot of time behind the gun. Um, we're getting him a lot more time behind the gun. This was a job he did helping my nephew out. This was a favor. My nephew comes in and helps us out once or twice a week here or there. He never shot clear before. This is a, a Subaru Pearl. And this is his little rice rocket, my nephew's little rice rocket. And the pearl laid out real nice. You got some dry spray in a couple spots, like on these, these odd contours. You got a little dry spray. That's nothing even the 2000 wouldn't take off. There you go. So, I'm introducing Jeremy's hand to paint. He's setting up right now and painting the brackets for the car. He's got a bunch of years experience in residential and commercial painting. Not so much in automotive. Um, he gets all nervy. He doesn't admit or state it, you can see it. He can stick a gun in his hand on a product that basically our, our paychecks are relying on. Put him helping out my, my nephew today. Yeah, he's ready to go. So I'm proud to say we got another painter in the shop who's probably better than me. <laughs> um, that takes a lot of stress off of me. I can fabricate, I can body work. I don't have to be the only one with a gun in my hand. Yay. Duty calls. See you guys later. Okay. It is headed to the trailer to load up and go. First time outside the shop since we started on it. John, our resident mule. <laughs> <laughs> he says I forgot to release the trailer. <laughs> I'm gonna let them work. That's gonna come back one more time. Yep. It will need to be polished again. And there's touch-ups that we've got to deal with. So there you go.
Oh, oh, oh. Whoops, I forgot to release the trailer. How'd that feel? Said it comes back for some touch ups and various other things. But uh, there's another one for the record books. Uh, 10 days was last Friday, 17 days. I assumed to take 10 days. Four days were cleaning up what was already there so we could use it. We had four days of extra things that weren't supposed to be. 